to teach you a yoga class. It's Nikita from the I Am Resilient Movement. So please join me on your mat. We will start standing up today and we will go right up into the warm up. Um, as we move into spring and the, the weather begins to change, we may find we have a little bit of increased energy. You know, the days are getting longer and um, we're absorbing a little bit more, more sunlight and we feel this um, rise, this energy of spring. So I encourage you to use this energy to tap into it and to create some heat in the body. So come to the front of your mat, bring your hip or your feet about hip width distance apart. Um, separate your um, feet to be parallel to one another, both your heels and your toes. And then close your eyes and take a few shoulder rolls backwards into become aware of your posture and how the body is feeling today. And then roll the shoulders forward. Notice how your movements are. Are they rigid or are they smooth? Good. And then we will just bring the arms overhead, palms together on the inhale. And then the exhale, release them by your side. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, slowly bring the arms overhead, gaze can follow. Exhale, release. Full breath, inhale. And exhale, release. Keep these slow, fluid breaths with movement throughout the practice. That's the most important thing you can do. So we'll come into our sun salutations. Bring your arms overhead, palms together, and exhale, fold over the legs. Release the head, release the spine. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step both feet back, lower the knees, chest and chin, or all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, roll the shoulders towards your spine, and come into a baby cobra. So pull the chest forward, use the hands to really pull towards the chest. And then option two, gaze up. We will always have this option. Um, later on, I'll give the option to come into upward dog. So pressing further and rooting through the, um, the tops of the feet. And then we'll just lift through a tabletop position, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So option always to come into a tabletop if you're ever needing a bit of a rest in your practice or sit the hips back into child's pose. So take three breaths here in downward facing dog. Press your hands into the floor. Gaze up at your fingertips and make sure that the first two fingers are really facing the front of the mat so you're not spiraling in or outwards with your arms. And then release the head towards the floor, lower the heels towards the floor. Try to find a neutral spine, so allow the tailbone to tilt towards the sky. Gaze towards our hands and then step, walk, or hop to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Bring your palms overhead. Release them down by your side. Nice. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant both hands, step both feet back to plank. Again, lower the knees, chest and chin, or all the way, or halfway, chaturanga. And then inhale through cobra or downward, or sorry, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take three breaths here. Press through the hands, press through the feet. Really reach through those armpits. Allow the tension in the temples and the jaw to relax. Good, one more breath. Good, gaze towards the hands, step walk or hop to the front of the mat. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Bring your palms overhead and release them down by your side. Nice. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step both feet back, lower the knees, chest, chin, all the way or halfway. Inhale into your back bend, cobra or upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Again, take three breaths here. Press through the hands, press through the feet. Bring an intention to your practice. Is it to build strength, flexibility, maybe neuroplasticity? There are so many benefits. Or to reconnect with yourself. Gaze up at the hands, step up or hop to the front of the mat, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, come all the way to standing, bring your palms overhead, and release them by your side. Beautiful, do you feel the heat building in the body? Nice work. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step the right foot back, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Bring your hand to the front thigh and then allow yourself to sink into that hip flexor. Lovely. Option to sweep the arms all the way overhead and reach through the fingertips. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Continue to root through the back toes and the front foot. Take another full breath, inhale. And exhale, plant the hands, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, step the left foot back to meet the right. Lower knees, chest and chin, or through Chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Inhale, lift the right leg towards the sky, point the toes. And on the exhale, step up between the palms, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Inhale, bring your hands to your front thigh and sit down into that hip flexor. Find the breath. Continue to allow the chest to shine forward and then sweep the arms overhead. Two more breaths here. Good. And draw the front rib ribs in and down. Tendency is to want to allow them to sprawl out. You know, that's my tendency. So. Keep the engagement of the abdomen. Beautiful. And continue to press through both feet. Exhale, plant the hands, framing the right foot. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Step the left foot up to meet the right. And fold over the legs. Inhale, bring your palms all the way overhead, come to standing. And exhale, release them by your side. Nice, one more sun salutation. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Big breath. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, your fingertips, step the left foot back, untuck the back toes and set the back knee down. And then bring your hands to your front thigh and sweep the arms overhead again. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And see if you can hear your breath. See if you can fill the belly, abdomen and chest and empty all the way from the throat down to the bottom of the belly. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, step the right foot back to meet the left. Again, lower knees, chest and chin, or through chaturanga. And then inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Right away, inhale, lift the left leg towards the sky, point the toes. And on the exhale, plant it between the palms, lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Bring your hands to your front thigh and shine the chest forward. Option again to sweep the arms overhead, drop the shoulders, reach through those fingertips. You can even take a back bend here and bind the fingers together. Beautiful. One more breath, inhale. 
and exhale, plant the hands to bring the left foot, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, step the back foot up to meet the front, and then lower over the legs, release the head, release the spine, and take three breaths here in this forward fold before we come up. You can rock back and forth, and on the exhale, really try to release. Good. One more breath. Good. On the inhale, come all the way to static. Palms overhead and release them down by your side. Nice work. And we will do one more flow just to work towards our, um, our next position. So inhale, palms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant the, the fingertips, step the left foot to the back of the mat. And then rotate the back foot towards parallel to the back edge of the mat and windmill the arms all the way up, coming into warrior two. Good, sink down into that right leg and then allow all of your surface area, all of your cells in the bottom of your foot to really Plant firmly into the ground. Nice. Allow strength in the hands, strength in the arms, and drop the shoulders. Gaze over your right fingertips. And on the exhale, sink down a little deeper. Beautiful. Take another full breath. And on the exhale, bring the hand to the, for the forearm to the thigh and sweep the left arm all the way alongside the ear. Reach through those fingertips and gaze underneath the left armpit. Again, bring some awareness to the back foot and see if you can push into the back foot and reach through those fingertips even more. Open the chest to the side of the room. Beautiful. Take two more breaths. Good, and then really strengthen through the abdomen and come all the way up. Lengthen through the right knee. Allow the hips to hinge backward, come into triangle. So reach forward with that right hand. Open the chest to the side of the room and reach the arms wide. Beautiful. We'll take three full breaths. One more breath. Good. Soften through that knee, strengthen the abdominal muscles and come all the way up. We will switch legs. Beautiful. The left toes point to the back of the mat this time. And right foot is parallel. Bring your arms parallel to the floor and sink down into that front knee. I say front now, it's the back of your mat, your left knee. Nice, good. Again, bring some awareness to the outer edge of the right foot. And see if you're rolling in, in or out with that foot. See if you can press it firmly into the mat. And then gaze off over those left fingertips. Sink down a little deeper. Lovely. You may need to adjust the right foot. Good. One more breath. And then release the left forearm to the left thigh. Sweep the right arm all the way alongside the ear and gaze underneath the right armpit. Excellent. Continue to sink down into that left leg and open the chest to the side of the room. Beautiful, just one more slow breath. And then come all the way to standing, reach through, lengthen that left leg, as if somebody were pulling your left fingertips all the way to the back of the mat, allow your hips to hinge backward and it tilt. 
And then when you tilt it as far as you can, release the left hand towards the floor and the right arm up towards the sky. It can be helpful to have something under your left hand here, maybe a chair or a block or some stacked up books. And then continue to allow the body to open to the side of the room. Two full breaths. What is your mind doing? What is the breath doing? Strengthen through the abdomen, soften through the left knee, and come all the way to standing. Beautiful. We will rotate our feet parallel to the sides of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips, draw your shoulders towards your spine, and begin to hinge forward into a wide-legged forward fold. Feel free to make your legs wider here if you prefer. And continue to lengthen the spine. So allow the cervical spine to be long. And then when you begin to round, allow the hands to float towards the floor, the feet or the big toes, and then release the head. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And three more, just like that. Continuing to release a little deeper into the pose with each exhale. And when that is complete for you, you can release the bind of the feet or ankles if you have it. Bring your hands to your hips, draw your elbows together, and come all the way up to standing. Lovely. And then come back to the front of your mat. We will come into a tree pose. So spread your toes wide on the mat. Allow the left toes to plant and actually the right foot to float up. So feel free to keep it on the floor or the shin or the thigh, and then allow the knee to come towards the side of the room. You can place the right foot on the inner left thigh if it's accessible to you. Again, option to keep it lower at the kickstand. And then allow the pressing in of the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot and the rooting down of the left foot into the floor to grow the spine taller. In yoga, sometimes it's talked about that we root to rise. So the more solid our foundation, the more we can plug into our groundedness, the more we can ascend, the more we can spread our branches, and be strong. Good. Fix your gaze on something that's not moving or option to play and close your eyes. Good. One more breath. And then exhale, release the hands, release the leg. You can shake it out if you need to. And then spread the right toes on the mat. Allow the left foot to float up and draw your left knee into your chest. Bring your foot to the floor, the shin, or the inner thigh, just as you did on the other side. And press into the leg with the foot, the foot into the leg. And you can bring your hands to heart center. And once you are grounded, you can allow your branches to grow. Continue with the outer rotation of that left leg. Beautiful. One more breath. And then exhale, release the hands, release the foot. You can shake it out if you need to. And then we will inhale, bring our arms all the way overhead, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, rise to a flat back. Exhale, plant both your hands, step both feet back, and we will stay in this plank position for three breaths. So engage the abdominal muscles, allow the chest to sink towards the floor, allow the spine to be long. Take a big breath. And one more breath. Good, and then place your right hand in front of your face. Rotate onto that right leg. Option to bring the left leg to the floor in front of you or to stack the feet. And then we will reach our left arm long, long, tall. <laughs> Good. Option, of course, to raise that left leg if you need more of a challenge. Just one more breath. Take rest if you need to, but I encourage you to stick with me. Good, and then place the left hand on the floor. We'll switch sides. Come onto the outer edge of that left foot. Reach the right arm tall. Take a variation if you did so on the other side, or option to lift the right leg. Good, and just two more breaths in here. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. And then on the exhale, bring your right palm to the floor. Beautiful, I'll take another three breaths here. Some very, very strengthening work. Draw your hands into your feet and your feet towards your hands. Take one more slow breath. And then slowly lower all the way onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Bring your hands in front of you, stack your palms, and rest your forehead on your hands. We'll take three slow breaths. And then allow the heels to draw towards the glute muscles and we will reach our right hand back and grab hold of the outer edge of the foot. Option to stay here and continue to kick the hand into the foot and the foot into the hand. Or option to reach for the opposite foot and we'll do this twice so there's opportunity to do both sides if you choose the first variation. And when you're ready, begin to kick the feet into the hands and pull the, the feet with the hands and gaze up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, release. Stack the palms. Release the forehead. Relax. And we will do the opposite side. So tuck the left heel in towards the glute. Reach for the outer edge of that foot. Option to kick one side and hand into foot, foot into hand. Or reach for the opposite foot. And again, we'll just do three breaths. So allow yourself to push towards your edge. Inhale, push. finish our class here but before we finish just give yourself a few breaths good 
Good. Walk your fingertips over to the left-hand side, just a couple more poses. We will lower the forehead and take a big breath into the right side body. Good. And then walk your hands all the way over to the right. And lower the palms towards the floor, lower the forehead. Reach that left hip back towards your left heel and take a big breath into the left side body. Good. And then walk your hands back to center. Option to bring the knees together and sink back into child's pose. If you prefer, you can bring your arms alongside you, palms facing up, relax the elbows, relax the shoulders. And we'll take a few breaths here before we finish. So instead of Shavasana, we will do a short child's pose integration. So relax the temples, the jaw, the forehead. Relax the muscles around the cervical spine. Relax the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the fingers. And relax the abdomen and diaphragm as the breath comes and goes. And relax the pelvis, the legs, the feet, the toes. And allow the physical body and the mind to fully surrender. Allow this time to rest. your hands back in front of you and come up to a seated position and I invite you to join your hands at your heart center and tuck your chin towards your hands take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and give yourself some gratitude for taking care of yourself, your mind, your body. 